This week on Supercars Talk, I'm excited because I finally got electricity in the shed and because it's the final one for the year, I've done some decorating. Seeing as it's going to be Christmas Eve, when the next episode of this will be dropping, um, I've decided I'm going to probably take two weeks off over Christmas, so this will be the final one for the year. Um, also, it'll give me some time to do a little bit of work out here. Uh, as I said, I have um, actually, you can't see it on the film there, um, but around me I have actually got electricity in the shed now, so um, no more running an extension cable out here every time I want to film. Um, I've got some proper lighting and things like that. I can, I can mount my, um, whatever you call them, lighting for the show uh, properly. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping to um, tidy up this a bit, uh, make it look a bit more like a set, a little less like a shed. Um, and also try and um, put a bit of sound deadening in here uh, so it's not quite so echoey. Echoey, and maybe we won't hear the uh, Craig Lowndes fan next door barking away. Um, and there's a tree right on this corner from next door that I'm going to trim over Christmas as well. But hopefully that'll, you know, suppress some of the rubbing and that from uh, the videos. Uh, just to, you know, bring a bit of quality to this, uh, you know, professional production. Even though the year's nearly over, uh, the announcements keep coming. Uh, it's very unusual at this time of year to have this many announcements and so much locked away. Um, I'll show you. This is, this is my cheat sheet of the entry list for next year and I'm um, not sure how well you can see on the camera there. But basically the yellow stuff is the unconfirmed um, and ev everything else is the confirmed stuff. So when we look through the only really there's two unconfirmed seats. Still not sure if the second one of those will be happening. Um, we still haven't had Bryce Fullwood confirmed at Walkinshaw Andretti United, um, considering, you know, where that's at. It's just a confirmation now. Um, and then the second um, Techno Team Sydney seat, um, that one hasn't been confirmed. Um, then we've got uh, the, the number for Jack Smith hasn't been confirmed yet. And um, th this is where we're at with things not being confirmed. Um, and obviously the, the second Techno seat, the um, number hasn't been confirmed. Um, and then the only other ones is the sponsorship packages, which at this point last year, I think 90% oh, of the sponsorship column was yellow, uh, or I just had no idea who was sponsoring what. Um, this year, Currently, the unconfirmed ones are the two Walkinshaw Andretti United cars. Um, I'm assuming Mobile's in there somewhere as part of the sponsorship. Uh, who knows on the rest of it. Um, then the two Techno cars haven't got confirmed sponsorships. Um, I've got Bottolo down for James Courtney. I, I'm still wondering, I think Bottolo's going to end up somewhere in the field uh, from, from what I've heard. And that's a logical place unless it's at Walkinshaw Andretti um, because I, I can't see them going to Matt Stone Racing but you, you never know. Um, on their second car at um, the Techno Team Sydney thing I've got written Hopes and Dreams because uh, at the moment it's looking like Hopes and Dreams sponsoring them. Um, the Scott Pies car, the sponsor hasn't been announced yet um, I'm not going to say who it is, but if you put two and two together and get five, you probably will be able to work out who is sponsoring that car. Um, and of course the, um, two Matt Stone cars, uh, haven't been announced yet. Now on the Matt Stone this week, uh, it was confirmed that Jake Kostecki and Zane Goddard, not the other Kostecki, which Brody's obviously gone to um, Erebus as part of their um, endurance lineup. Um, Kurt was the one who was racing in Super 2 with Triple Eight last year, um, which a lot of people thought Kurt was going to be the one at Matt Stone Racing. He's not. Um, it's Jake who was the who co-drove with Brody um, at the Enduros. So uh, in interesting one there. So we can assume that the um, 
the second Matt Stone car will be sponsored by, I'm assuming, Acro Plate. And um, I've put down ABC Building, which was saying Goddard's sponsor. I assume that they'll probably have uh, two paint jobs for that car. Um, when Jake's in the car, it'll be the Acro Plate. When Zane's in the car, it'll be the ABC Building, if that's what's happening. Um, and then for the Enduros, they'll probably have some kind of merge delivery. Um, not sure what's happening with Gary Jacobson. It, the car was in an SS Signs livery, um, the same one that Todd, Hazel, Todd Hazelwood ran in um, Newcastle when they announced um, Jacobson there. But um, I've put down Rabble Club. Um, yeah, I'm surprised Rabble Club lasted on a car that long considering I don't think they really sell a product. The other big yellow column is the uh, co-drivers um, and mo most of those are yellow. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven confirmed, um, which you may think is not that many, but at this point last year, I think there was about, uh, Craig Lowndes was probably the only one actually confirmed. Um, so of course we've got the, the Penske ones confirmed, uh, the Triple Eight ones confirmed, the Erebus ones confirmed, and that the um, second Matt Stone car will be shared between the two drivers all year. So that one's locked away. Um, then we, we can assume probably that, you know, a lot of people are going to end up where they were last year. Like at Tickford, I'd say you pretty much can lock in um, Randall and Alex Davison. Um, and then I reckon unless Caruso ends up in that second Sydney car, I'd say he'll be there as well. Um, and then there's a few others like it's, you can pretty much bank on um, Tim Blanchard and Ash Walsh, Dean Canto still being at BJR. Um, and then it's a little bit um, iffy on some of the others as to who's going to be there. Um, possibly see Luffy with um, Scott Pye at Team 18 there, things like that. Um, and probably see Dale Wood back with Rick Kelly. Um, I've got Simona down there with Andre, but we'll, we'll see what happens, whether she comes back or not. So are the announcements for the week. Um, I've covered off the Kostek and Goddard at Matt Stone Racing. Uh, interesting that they are allowed to share the car. Apparently there was no rules had to be changed for it, so I'm not sure. I thought that if you'd done more than two rounds, you couldn't be a co-driver. Uh, not sure, because uh, there was that question mark with Caruso last year as to how many drive, uh, wasn't when Caruso filled in at Gary Rogers because Pitha had um, done too many races filling in for um, Richie. So not sure how all that works. Apparently no rule changes. I, I think it's not a bad idea. Um, I possibly, I wouldn't like to see it if, you know, if say this year, you know, like Triple Eight, the drivers were kind of out of the championship and, you know, maybe if they put, you know, Lowndes and Tander in for a round before the endurance races. Um, I think maybe if a top team was kind of taking advantage like that, maybe not so good. But I think for the, you know, a small team with, maybe you could make a rule where, you know, maybe if they haven't got more than one year experience in the main game or something like that, maybe it's a good idea. will be interesting to see how it plays out and then what happens, whether one of them ends up full-time next year or whether they try and continue sharing, like how, how long can that go on for? Um, be interesting to see how this kind of pans out in the future and whether anyone else takes advantage of it in the future. Erebus also had a big announcement this week. Uh, they've signed Will Brown for a 2021 main game seat. Uh, so Will was announced as the co-driver for Dave Reynolds last week. Uh, this week it's come out that he will be driving um, in the main game. Um, next year he's going to uh, race in Super 2 with Image Racing, who's like the Erebus junior team. Um, that's Terry Wahoon's team, who basically has old Erebus cars and um, they give him a bit of a hand and things like that. Brown didn't have the best of years this year with Eggleston Motorsport, um, so swap teams fair enough um what's interesting is oh i'd thought that they'd sign anton to multi-year contract so is this a bit of a hint that anton's gonna be there is rumors of him replacing scotty at penske or replacing um jamie wink at triple eight 
Um, or does this mean Erebus is planning on running a third car next year? Because uh, they've already got Decade Dave under contract, and although that doesn't mean that Dave will be driving a supercar for Erebus for 10 years, um, I don't think you'd be signing a Decade contract this year and, you know, with only the intention of racing in the main game for one more year. So that'd be interesting to see. Uh, great to see that they've kind of locked away Will Brown for at, at least two years now. Um, you know, the kid, he deserves a main game seat and it's good to see, you know, Erebus, you know, bring in some youth, which um, I have criticised some other teams of um, not doing, which, you know, there should be more of it, I reckon. The last big announcement for this week was um, Andre Heimgartner. We know the sponsor, we know the livery on the car already. Um, Ned Whiskey, um, another drink I'm going to have to try. I might have to head down to... Um, the local Bottolo. Um, I think Dan Murphy's is the closest to me, but anyway, um, might have to uh, try some of that over Christmas. Uh, you know, support some of these sponsors, see what their products like. Um, car looks pretty cool, actually. So, good, good one. Um, Kelly's always bring out good liveries. Pretty happy with it, um, and you know, it's great. You, people already, you know, announcing liveries, things like that. Um, get some in the news at this time of year. Uh, the problem I had that, like the last few years, everyone kind of releasing these liveries, you know, right at the end, um, you know, they all kind of merge in and get forgotten. Um, good move by the Kellys to, you know, lock away the sponsor this early and get it all announced and out there already. Last bit of news for the week. Um, Commodore is no more. Um, I think they're stopping bringing it in now. They're going to run down the stock that they've already got, which, you know, depending on who you listen to, apparently there's a fair bit of stock sat there. Um, Holden are doing the same thing with um, whatever that the medium car, the Astra. Um, they're just going to concentrate on SUVs and uh, the Colorado. I think they said the commercial vehicles, which I think it's only the Colorado that they sell. Um, this is, okay, the Commodore is going to race on until the end of 2021, which we assume then Gen 3 rules are coming in, which something else is going to happen. Um, a lot of people are saying this is the end of the category. Um, probably not. Uh, will be interesting to see what happens, whether we end up everyone has to go to a Mustang or something. Um, the joke for many years has been that it has been Commodore Cup. Um, Will be interesting if there is no Commodores uh, in 2022. Uh, we'll see what happens. The rumor is Walkshaws are bringing BMW in. You know, there's a few other brands out there. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I really think they need to look at Gen 3, um, see what happens. And, you know, if we can really pull some costs out of the thing and maybe even, you know, get some manufacturers to you know kind of come in and but maybe use say the existing Holden engine or something like that let's not get if we have to have these expensive engines let's not get carried away with you know making you know what happened with Nissan where they spend millions of dollars developing an engine that's kind of not competitive until like year seven basically um, and then the manufacturers already lost interest um, I think you know they definitely need to pull some of the costs out of it, but maybe try and, you know, rather than all of this, oh, we need to have our own engine DNA and so just kind of bite the bullet a bit and say, well, you know, we've got these, all of this here. Um, and then you might even see, like, say, Walkers, you're having, you know, BMW body shell, Triple Eight doing their own thing, and then you know maybe Erebus uh, going down the Walkinshaw route with them kind of thing, and you know the Triple Eight customers, and maybe even seeing someone like a Brad Jones, or you know maybe bringing in an Audi or something like that, so that you have a few different body shapes. So the the average punter on the street, I think, oh, you know, I've had comments over the years like, oh, you know, Ford didn't do any well until they brought the Coyote engine in and things like that. And you're like, mm, they've been using the same engine forever, kind of. And, you know, these LSs in the Commodores are pretty good. And you're like, well, no, it's just, it's still the same. Five litre Chev block that they've been using forever. Um, you know, to me, I think the majority of fans just want good racing. Um, 
you know, if you want to go and see a technical exercise, go and be bored watching Mercedes win at Formula One. If you want to see good close racing, you know, watch V8 Supercars or IndyCar or something like that. Um, people probably aren't going to like those comments, but that's, um, that's what I think anyway. So that covers off everything for this year. Um, at this point, people usually, you know, put in some bloopers or something like that. Um, really, the, the main bloopers is me not being able to pronounce words, which generally I've left in, um, or when I have a sneezing fit because I suffer from really bad hay fever. Um, I can't be bothered going through all the filming um, over the year to um, find me having a sneezing fit, so I won't put any of that in. Um, as I said, the, the plan at the moment is I'll have a couple of weeks off over Christmas, um, do a little bit of work around here, um, you know, enjoy the Christmas cheer. Uh, so until next year, I'll see you later. Put away your inhibitions, let the beast in you just get loose. We all young, wild,